Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between, welcome back to our third entry into the Devs Diary series with Orr. Uh, and of course, we have our favorite guest with us, Jonah. Jonah, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. How are you, Robert? I am doing pretty well. So we've got the basics of cryptocurrency down. We've got the basics of blockchain, the basics of token and the Orr token. And that kind of left us off at the forge. Now, before we dive in uh, too deeply into this, uh, give me a rough overview on what exactly the forge is, what it functions as, and kind of just as as much background so that everybody's on the same page diving into this. Sure. So the, the Or Forge is an is an NFT marketplace. Um, it, it's comparable to other NFT marketplaces, uh, except that ours is on the Binance Smart Chain which means the gas fees are extremely small, right? And so that that allows us to do what we do with them, right? Because our NFTs aren't just art. They are art, but they're not just art. Each one actually identifies some game object or some, some other digital content that it licenses. So, um, for example, ooh, for our game Osiris Protocol, you can you can purchase NFTs for the weapons, some NFTs for some characters in the game, um, etc. And owning those NFTs, even owning the o the Osiris Protocol NFT on the Forge, means that you can download the game. So it really combines kind of the functionality that you guys uh, are pioneering over at Or, and just brings it into a marketplace. Uh, that is the forge. Um, so, what exactly sets it apart? Because you mentioned it's somewhat comparable to, to to other NFT marketplaces. What what's really the what's really the difference maker uh, that sets the forge apart from those marketplaces? So, we bring um, the community together, and and when we talk about the community, we have community segments, right? We have content creators, content providers, okay. They're members of the community, whether they're individuals or companies that are creating NFTs, right? And then we have studios, which are are consuming that content to produce more content, right? And so what, what makes the Orforge special as an NFT marketplace is that it's an actual digital content, a blockchain supported uh, digital content ecosystem. So it's not just kind of like a marketplace where people are going to show up, buy their pictures of monkeys, uh, and, and be on their merry way. It truly is a place where where content creators, where producers, where musicians, where consumers can all kind of meet up and and kind of the way I picture it is like some of those like Middle Eastern bazaar markets where it's kind of just everyone everywhere moving about, exchanging ideas, and all of that kind of stuff. Is that is that kind of on the right track? Sure, and hopefully a little bit more organized than, than a chaotic bazaar. But, but yeah, fundamentally, yeah. Um, you know, we're not we're not trying to regulate uh, what you're doing on there. Now, I will caveat and say that uh, we don't want that not safe for work content on the forge. Please don't put it there. Okay? <laughs> um, we, not that kind of art. That. Yeah, that's another deal. <laughs> and and it's not to say that if all you're interested in doing is buying. Uh, silly monkeys then come on buy silly monkeys you know um a friend of mine has an awesome collection of of nft robots that i think are cute as heck you know and and so like if that's all you're interested in buy them up you know no absolutely but there is there is that depth to the uh to 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 the more curious consumer so so like you mentioned you have those robots um you have that robot collection you have some games you have some music give me give me a little uh a little preview of what i might find there in terms of like your favorite items like a, a jonas picks if you will so okay jonas picks again i i love uh my buddies um uh, robot collection i think i think they're super cute um then probably jimmy's musical tracks are are pretty hot right i really i'm i'm really into live music and everything and so um his his stuff is great but probably my top top nft on the forge is um is the immortal kids uh character so that that character is a character that we as an organization or systems inc we 
we commissioned a, a um, original digital painting of this character for our game, right? And uh, and I, I, I just, I love the artwork, I love the concept, and I love the fact that it enables you to play um, as our founder's character in Osiris Protocol. Oh, that's so that's so cool because it, it it does really kind of bring together everything that you guys do with that with that in game functionality as well as the awesome artwork. So I might have to delay the release of this dev diary just to make sure I get my hands on a on a on a copy of that. But moving moving on from kind of uh, your top picks. Um, are there are is is all the content on on the forge kind of curated by you guys at or or do you guys have any partnerships that you're working with or anything like that to bring additional content onto there? So it's a mix, right? It's a mix. So the community puts what the community wants to put in there. Now, we encourage certain certain content because uh, we know that Studio XYZ needs that content and so if so if you know if you put that content on there then you can sell it to the studio they're happy you're happy and we take a tiny little transaction fee for every little deal so we're happy about that too if we can link you know what i mean so you, you could put whatever you want the, and the community does uh, but but there are instances where we say we partner up for example with yummy crypto um shout out they they produced a line of of weapons for osiris protocol you know and 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 that's been a real fruitful partnership so far that's awesome so so you have you have your partnerships on there you have your branded content on there you have your user generated content on there i mean that sounds like a complete and amazing product but i know you and the boys over at or are never never content shall we say so so what are what what is the next step what is what is the next step for forge what is forge v2 looking like are there any plans for for an update on it yeah so forge v2 is already in the works um in fact um i don't want to give you hard dates but we are expecting a uh, Q1 quarter, first quarter 2022 release of V2. Oh my. Uh, full disclosure. Full disclosure. We had to re-record this interview because of a tech tech issue and that is way more information than I got in the first one because it was going to lead into a next question on when are there any updates but you're just going to hit me with a with a Q1 release it's our yeah it's already been in development for a while in the background you know um because we knew we wanted to upgrade but we uh we're confident now in a in a first quarter release so you know it, it's whoo that's a that's a that's a new bit of information coming in hot. That is exciting, um, and so I guess that's as good a place as any to polish this uh, this entry into the dev diary. Now you mentioned very casually some weapons for Osiris Protocol, some characters for Osiris Protocol, but we never really got a chance to go too in depth on what Osiris Protocol is. So I think for our next entry, we're going to dive into that. But for the moment, Jonah, we're gonna we're gonna bid you farewell until the next entry thank you so much for coming on and to the fans who are sticking around we'll see you in the next episode all right thank you robert see you next time